All right, fishing buddies, we're here today with Madeline and Jacqueline, and we're doing some deep dropping. Not too deep, I mean, for Gulf of Mexico. We're gonna take him off, we're gonna keep him. He's gonna be a keeper. Okay. So we just tested this spot or whatever, and first drop down, we caught ourselves a nice lane snapper here. And this is probably a good 13 inch. That's a good size for a lane snapper. So hopefully today's gonna be a good day. So here with Rob. <laughs> uh, it's not that big. It's smaller than I thought. It's actually a good looking snapper though. Oh yeah, it's keeper. Excellent job. That is a bright blue porky. <laughs> All right, we got a double hook up here with the ladies. <laughs> oh, it's so big. Dude. <laughs> Oh, Jacqueline's got a good lane snapper. Measure, measure. And Madeline's got a pork fish. Another one. That's a gray snapper. He's close, but probably just a little too small. Probably legal, but just no meat on him. Oh, another lane. Decent side. Oh, another one of those pretty fish. It's a good size one though. Yeah, bigger than the last one. Hey, they're closing in on keeper size. <laughs> you have two. Double Tom Tate hookup. Those are grunts. Man, huh? I always bring it too far. Gray snapper. So now we're going into the frozen. Oh, that's a good one. That might be a keeper. Well, I haven't been measuring them. I just been taking them off. There we go. Come on, stay on, buddy. Stay on. Yeah. Mangrove snapper, a little bit bigger. Yeah. Second's got the technique. No. A little undersized lane snapper. Gonna get the big one with these big shrimp. Let's see, do you have any color yet? You gonna see it? Oh, it's just a grunt. That looks like a keeper. Good job, Madeline. Nice hook set, too. It's all right, start reeling it in. And this is a keeper size grunt here. Splash the camera a couple times. This thing can't be more than 11 inches, and I'll tell you, it's they get sideways. Yeah, this never even pulled at all. Well, that's the ticket for catching that species right there. No, I got him. Beautiful fish, man. I love it. 
come back when you're a little bit bigger. Right. So we have the lane snapper cooking. Normally if I'm going to make dip I want to smoke it, but I don't have a smoker here over at the fish camp, so we're just going to fry it with some uh, butter and some seasonings, and then we're just going to flake it all apart. We're going to mix it with some other ingredients, and I'll show you that in a little while. So when the fish is all cooked, I'm just going to mash it around. The reason why I use lane snapper for this is because lane snapper is kind of a mushy fish. You mix it up until it's pretty much the consistency of tuna fish. And then the next thing we're going to add into that is the green onion. You do have a chef's knife. Oh no, no, no. Don't eat that. Mix that all up in it. Half a container of onion and chive cream cheese. half a container of jalapeno cream cheese. And a little bit of Miracle Whip. We're also going to add some Creole seasoning. and some garlic salt. Now we're gonna mix that all together and then we're gonna stick it in the refrigerator to chill. Should be ready in probably an hour or so. So we'll get back to you when it's time to try it. So fish dip is ready, but instead of staying up last night and eating it for New Year's Eve, I went to bed early. So we spread it on some everything bagels. So we're gonna have fish dip on bagels for breakfast. And Kaylee is going to be the one to try it first <laughs> to let us know how it is. Right. This is good. I don't really like my tuna. This is good food. Good job. <laughs> So, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did like it, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please subscribe.